Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make tissue paper flowers used in the Hispanic culture for decorations for Dia de los Muertos. For this project you're going to need scissors, ribbon, and tissue paper. I took eight pieces of tissue paper and cut them down to an eight inch by five inch rectangle and these eight layers are going to act as my petals so make sure you have a lot of layers it could be eight you can have more than that or less than that but the more you have the more voluminous your flower is going to be after you've cut your tissue paper down we're going to begin accordion folding the tissue paper and i've just done it so it's about an inch wide fold Once you've finished folding to the very end, we're going to tie a ribbon around the center of our paper. And I'm going to do a square knot. I'm going to zoom in so you can see a square knot is where you take the bottom ribbon, pass it underneath the top ribbon, pull it tight, and then you trade their spots. So the ribbon that was on top prior is now on bottom and it passes over the top of the ribbon that's now on bottom. And it's just a square knot. It's the symbol knot you use to tie your shoes. And then I'm going to take my tails and trim them down nice so they're not gonna be in my way later. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm gonna trim the edges of my folds. You can either do a round edge or a pointed edge. These um, shapes are gonna make your flower petals look more realistic. After the edges have been cut, we're going to fan out the flower and you can see it's starting to come together. And then I'm going to start on one side and I'm just going to begin to peel back each layer of tissue paper. Um, if you did more than eight layers, this will be a kind of a long process, but your flower will look so voluminous when you're done. Um, my eight layers, they are stuck together pretty nicely just because of the folding and the cutting. So it takes a little while to find the edge of the next tissue paper. But once you do, you just peel that layer up and kind of fluff it to make it look like the inside of a flower. Once you have the first side done, you will begin fluffing out the second side. And just like that, my flower is complete. And now you can take this and you can stick some tape to it and put it as a decorative element to your ofrenda, which is an altar for Dia de los Muertos. Or you can attach a barrette to it and put it in your hair, um, put it on a necklace and wear it with a pretty dress. These are just some different ways that um, it can be used to decorate for this wonderful holiday.